and our Seam the Reveal Auto Variety Show continues with a different take on a familiar looking car driven by a familiar face. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce our good friend, Mr. Rutledge Wood. Rutledge! What's up? I totally knew I was going to stall it from way back there, and I crushed that. Oh, my goodness. Great to brother? see you. You do such a great job here. You guys having a good time tonight? Thank you so much. Let's give it up for my man. This hard work out here. You guys sound amazing. No one's ever been able to do Florida Georgia Line into Purple Rain in history. That was awesome. Got your back, nice, nice. Awesome. Nice. Well, listen, so here at the SEMA Reveal, we're seeing a lot of variety of different cars. And what you have brought out is uh, this thing touches so many different parts of the automotive uh, brain, it, it kind of blows my mind. Uh, this is an 86, right? It's an 86 Carrera 911 that, if you guys know the prices, I couldn't afford to buy one. So what I did was I traded my 86 Corolla drift car for this car, plus wow. a little cash on top of it. And then I tried to think, you know, I always had this dream of owning an RWB, a Rawell Begriff, and, you know, to see a Japanese artist kind of reimagine what this car could be. Yeah. I went to my friends at Continental and said, hey, I got this idea. I want to build a Japanese-inspired German car with an American power plant in the back. And they, of course, said I was crazy. But when I said I want to take it on the power tour next year, they said, all right, let's do it. Yeah. Well, now, I think we need to back up just a touch here. Because, again, we're on three different continents with this car. Right. Uh, Correct me if I'm wrong, the, the pronunciation of this is Raul Wildbegriff, right? This German. Sure. Sure, right? Come on, I Googled that like 17 times. You did great. I thought that was really good. I just say RWB because it's easier. I'm not, I'm not that smart. Uh, but what that means, loosely translated, is rough world concept. Right. right? Uh, so that's kind of the German side, obviously a German car. The Japanese connection is uh, uh, Nakai-san? Uh, Akira Nakai, yep, Nakai-san. Uh, it, it really came from the fact that he wanted to run the widest wheel and tire setup he could at his home track in Japan, and so to do that, they required him to have fender that covered the tire, and that was really where Rawell was born from, Rough World, trying to make a concept that was not, it, it wasn't meant to be a pristine thing, it was meant to be a car that was driven and, and built to go enjoy, and that's that's definitely what we did. Right, and so in Japan, a lot of his cars, the earlier ones are race cars, but he does these that might still have a fully stock drive line, but this one does not. No, this this is not, and, and I was so excited when I wanted to do this, and I went to all the partners that I usually build stuff with, and I told some at racing, I, I know it's crazy, I want to pull the flat air-cooled six out, and I want to put a GM LS3 525 horse crate motor in the back, and they said, like, you know, people may not love this, and I was like, well, I haven't built anything for someone else, so why am I going to start now? Love that. I didn't know how much the Porsche purists would come out of their skin about the car, but that's that's really cool because I didn't hang out with them before. I'm not going to start now. But uh, the cool part is uh, my friend in the car is Randy Allgood from the Kenwood Rod Shop in Peachtree City, Georgia. Randy, a lot of you guys know from Lost in Transmission when we did that show in history. Randy is my friend that will take my insane ideas and help make them possible. So when I first pulled into the shop, he was understandably a little confused at what we were doing, but we pulled the flat six out. Uh, we took the gearbox out. It was a 915. It was not going to hold the power, but luckily Bill Raider, who here in Vegas has Raider Motorsports, came to our aid and was such a great help. We built a G50 gearbox. Uh, KW coilovers is what we used uh, to, to change over coilovers in the back. Still has the variant fours up front. We're going to swap those after SEMA, but uh, Forge Line made the custom wheels, also called an LS3. Magnaflow made us this beautiful custom exhaust. It has some mean cutouts. This sucker can really uh, wake the town up. But the exhaust is like this long on this car, and yet there's a cutout too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we made cutouts in there, and Richard Wade is from Magnaflow. Just what he came and did with this car was unbelievable. We had it tuned 492 with the rear wheels, which is pretty healthy, nice. especially for a car with air conditioning. Because vintage air stepped up. We got a big Odyssey battery under the hood, Brembo brakes, Brembo brakes, excuse me. Uh, and one of the coolest parts you saw coming up here. I'm sorry. I blinded you a little bit, but uh, these 911 headlights of the Raven S, so many of y'all know when we drive old cars, it's really fun, but at night, suddenly you can't see a thing, and these glasses are not just to make me look like a nerdy scientist, I can't see a thing, so uh, these bi-LED headlights have made such a difference, but for Continental to, to say, yes, we will give you extreme contact sports, we want this at SEMA, uh, you know, for me, I, I'm just a kid that loves cars and, and been lucky enough to make a career in it, but this is such a surreal moment for me 
uh, to be here, to have my friends all with me this week. A guy saw that I was building the car, and I'm really into sneakers, and he said, oh, I want to help you out. So uh, he made me this custom set of Look Air Max that. 90s that matched my car. He did the plaid on there. It's got the Continental logo, uh, and it says uh, Nike 911 on there, which is really cool. But that, that is super cool. What you guys might not be able to see, the seat pattern inside is that plaid matches that. That shows up in custom shoes. I got lucky on that one. Yeah, and, and if you know me, if you've ever seen me on TV, I always wear plaid because I'm a t-shirt guy, but when you got to dress up for TV, I thought plaid was the like redneck touch to do it. Yeah, right. So we use the old VW West Folia plaid in there. Also, I've learned from Porsche people, they don't think it's funny when you say I have a really fast Beetle, but <laughs> I feel like using the West Folia plaid was a nice hat tip for them too. So I know it's insane. It was so cool to watch Nakai san put this car together. Uh, Mark Arsenal from Fat Lace and Ellis was really the person that first showed me how that was possible. Uh, my buddy Alan Yang invited me to his build. My buddy Christian Kujin helped out. So when I look at this whole thing and I think about all the time and all the people that put their hands on this, and so many of them are my friends, it just it, to me it's a constant reminder of why we love this stuff and how it all comes together. It takes a lot of people. And you drove it on power tour. I'm guessing this thing makes lots and lots of Continental tire smoke. I'm not gonna lie. I attempted to drive it on the power tour. Okay. Uh, we needed a little more breathing to put that that <laughs> that fire breathing monster in the back. Turns out, if you take an air cooled car and put a water cooled engine in the back, it takes a little more strategy than I was perhaps prepared for. So we started with one radiator. We now have three. There's two water pumps, and, and we've made a really good system to. to close the loop because also I built this car to go thrash on I think that it's really cool to just look at cars but that's not who I am I want to go drive them I want to put miles on them I would take my daughters around in this with me so uh, we built it to thrash and it's gonna handle it so I, I, I couldn't be more excited but power tour next year there you go. Uh, it'll be out there in 2020 so those dates just came out hopefully you guys can come check it out and uh, if you like uh, German cars or Japanese styling or American power, hopefully there's something in here you'll like. A little something for everyone. Well, I think it's really awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Rutledge Wood. Thank you so and much. Raoul Wilt the Griff. Crushed it. <laughs> Thank you. Patrick, you got something for us as we see this? We got you, my man. Right on, buddy.